Right now we know that these threats went out early this morning. We also know that they were airdropped to students' phones similar to last time. And what we're being told, according to this letter by the superintendent, is that there were actually two separate occasions within today that those threats were airdropped. Now, the first airdropped message, according to the superintendent, was sent at 11.10 this morning and what he says was threatening school violence. Superintendent John Plouffe says the school contacted the Burton Police Department Department and immediately put the school on lockdown following that threat. According to the letter, as the Burton Police Department was there, a second airdrop message came through to multiple students, this time containing a list of students and staff members' names. Superintendent Plouffe says the list only contained first names of the students. They're asking parents to contact the school tomorrow morning if they believe their child's name may be on this list. The school also says they're continuing the safety measures they introduced earlier this week. Now, coming up later tonight at 10 and 11 on Mid Michigan. Now, we're speaking with parents about their reaction and what they what went through their mind when they saw that more school threats had actually been airdropped uh, and circulated around the school. Some of these new security measures include armed security officers plus metal detectors at Atherton Junior Senior High School. And one parent claims the district did all of this without asking input from students or parents. I sent my uh, two kids back. Unfortunately, I didn't want to send my kids back. As kids returned to Atherton Community Schools, they saw security officers, metal detectors, and received clear see-through backpacks. This is the letter John Plouffe, Atherton Community School Superintendent, sent to parents and students on October 28th, detailing all the new security changes. Patrick Rice is a parent of two whose kids attend Atherton Community Schools. Rice says other than the metal detectors, he and his kids are uncomfortable with the other new security changes. They were very upset. I've been communicating with them all, all morning. They've been, they told me about the book bag thing. They, they just don't like it. Atherton isn't the only school district increasing security at its schools. The company hired by Atherton to provide armed security guards says since the Delhi Oxford High School shooting last November, more schools are doing the same. It's a deterrent. There's a growing issue with people's mental state of mind in this country, as you can see throughout the, the country on the news and these superintendents are trying to get ahead of the problem. Michael Angus with Premier Security Solutions also has this message for parents whose children might have a hard time adjusting to this new environment. We try to um, present ourselves uh, not only for security for the students, but also uh, in a manner in which they can have conversations with us, approachable. Angus says each of the security guards from Premier are former or current law enforcement officers. He also says the officers' weapons will be concealed carry at the school. This was the third time I've reached out to the superintendent's office about concerns parents have shared with me in interviews. Today I was told by Superintendent Plouffe that he could not provide us with an interview or statement because he was in meetings all day. This was the message shared on Tuesday with Atherton student staff and faculty on Facebook by John Plouffe, Atherton Community School Superintendent, saying school will be canceled starting October 26th through October 28th because of airdrop messages threatening school violence. Carly Saylor, a parent who has three kids in Atherton Community Schools, says this was not the first time a threat has been made to the school and that she is very upset with how the school is handling both the airdrop threats and the first degree sex crime charges against 54 year old Jerry Cutting who allegedly had a relationship with a 14 year old girl who is a ninth grade student. To kind of keep it secret I think that speaks volumes that we're we're letting this slide we're saying don't speak up this isn't the first threat that they've gotten at that school and that people are playing it off as that they're jokes and it's they're airdropped they were airdropped so i think this is like the third or the fourth one this year that's been airdropped another parent patrick rice is a volunteer football and basketball coach at atherton community schools rice has two children attending atherton and says he feels as though his kids are not being protected by administration i feel like they failed for many years to protect our children from from this man and they swept all of the reports up under the rug it's not being handled well by the administration because again this 
It's, it's a trickle down domino effect from from their from their negligence. I spoke with Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton, who has a message to students regarding school threats. Layton says if found guilty, it's punishable by up to 20 years in prison. Communicating any threat to hurt someone or shoot up a school or plant a bomb in a school could have very serious consequences. And my message to kids is don't do it. Both Sailor and Rice tell me they have heard multiple reports from students and parents about inappropriate behavior from Jerry Cutting. The Genesee County Prosecutor's Office says Cutting is facing six counts of first degree criminal sexual conduct for engaging in sexual intercourse with a ninth grade student. Layton says if found guilty, Cutting could face life in prison with the possibility of parole. As for the airdrop threats to the school, Layton says no charges have been filed. <laughs> 